Hey guys, welcome back to Quest for 100 by Flaming Chicken. Um, don't worry about the cards on the left side of the screen. That's the giveaway cards. If you want more information on that, look at some other videos for cards to the giveaway. Um, all we're doing for this video is doing the Quest for 100. So where we left off was at number 80, which we determined with a, a dark hypno. Um, and we figured he'd get a 7 to 8, so we still have a few to go. Um, just add another 5. Um, I think we'll start with uh, our natured energy card in Japanese. Uh, because, believe it or not, I made the mistake. I mentioned um, my mistake video. If there's one thing about the Japanese cards that I learned, the early Japanese cards... If they have no rarity symbol on the bottom right, it doesn't mean it's a misprint. Japanese cards, early ones, with no symbol, well, no, no rarity symbol, means it's first edition. So if you haven't heard of my one video, I accidentally sold, like, six PSA 10 first edition cards for non-first edition prices. So that did not go well for me. Um... Now, I can't really tell if it's a Nick. I don't know if this card will get PSA 10, and PSA 10 is really the only thing that's going to make it worth it. It's hard to tell if this qualifies. But then again, the PSA ring doesn't say Nick. It says perfectly cut corners for a 10. So this probably won't be a 10. It's not really a Nick, but it's not a perfect corner either. However, the hollow foil is perfect from what I can tell. Um, there's no whiting or silvering on the front. And this is typical with Japanese cards. They're usually played less in America. And then the Japanese who did use them, or do use them in Japan, typically protect them better, even when they were kids. Now, there's a little whiting there. So this will not be a 10. However, I do think it's a strong case for a 9. Let me know what you think. So yeah, this is... um. A Neogenesis Meganinium. I believe they have uh, two Neogenesis of this card, just two different types. Um, I think I got them laying around somewhere, but we're going to go ahead and re-sleeve and top-load that bad boy. So that's our first edition Japanese Hollow Meganinium. I'm saying 9. 100% 8. Should not be less than an 8 by any means. Um, next up, we have... A Fossil Hollow Kabutops. Um, I um, need look down and now. He's definitely not a nine, maybe not even an eight. And it's hard for you to see in the camera, but you can see like the card is just not perfect. There's a bunch of factory lines. You can see the silvering on the sides. Now I guess that counts as bleed. It's not really a heavy bleed right here, next to the border. It's like they didn't finish this hollow. It's like they gave him a gold line. I wonder what that will count as. Probably against them. It's really not supposed to be there. Um, no swirl. Because there isn't a swirl in this hollow pattern. Although it has a good, you know, sort of fade left to right. Um, the corners are pretty good. But as I said, not a 9. Hardly an 8. Maybe a 7. This may not be worth sending in, to be honest. I'll have to look it up later. Um, thought it was in better condition. Sadly, it's not. If it was first edition, I'd definitely still send it in. Um, I, I don't know if it's labeled as miscut or the centering is bad. You can see that this border is significantly thicker than this border. I would label it as miscut, but I think people label it as bad centering. Uh, 100% 6. Should be a strong 7. It's a week eight, though. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and besides our little side giveaway, we're also doing a thousand sub giveaway. We're giving away a first edition hollow misprint Koga's B drill. Oh, hi. Going back to the Japanese first editions. So I pulled this card, technically pulled it. It wasn't a random pull. I had bought a. Um, Oh, what is a, 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 a Yabuki City Gym Japanese pack? However, I didn't know what came in the pack, so to my surprise, by opening the pack, it wasn't a sealed pack either, but by opening the pack, I pulled this card, along with a really nice, rare 
Alakazam point. Now, the hollow foil itself just looks so perfect and flat. Like, no scratch, no factory line, just perfect. 10 for the hollow foil by itself, for sure. Um, oh, maybe not. So there is... The lighting just happens to block it against y'all perfectly. Oh, maybe there's a swirl in this. Let's see. Sorta, not really. Kind of too random. I don't know why, but for the sidekicks, they tend to do a lot of dark patterns, and it's hard to see their hollow foil. That's why I hate buying them online, because um, you can't hardly see if they actually are hollow, and then they get to you, and it's a return process and an argument, and you labeled it as hollow, but it isn't hollow, and stuff like that. Uh, now, it's not really a nick, but it's not a perfect corner, so not a 10, but still, first edition card, Japanese, because it has no rarity symbol. The back is still pretty solid. Looks like there's a little work here, but the, most of the wax is on the card from the way the gloss shines. I'd say an 8 to a 9, and uh, I still think it's worth sending in, because it's technically a first edition, although not a lot of people know that that's first edition. So hopefully I can get it labeled as such. Uh, it will be difficult, because even the PSA, I don't think, I don't think they fully track that those cards are first edition. If I can't get it labeled first edition, I definitely want it labeled misprint, no rarity symbol, though it's not a misprint. So I'm sending in a non hollow card. The only reason why is it's the first edition. Now, non hollow cards are usually easier to get a higher grade on because they don't have any hollow foil to scratch up. Um, it does seem to have a little bit of dirt on them. Let's see if it comes off. I'll take a look at it later. Now, that's more of a nick right there. So Maybe not even a nine, a week, eight even. I mean, that's how stringent they are for these cards, guys. Uh, okay, so that, that was kind of dirt, kind of a nick. I'm not, I'm trying to tear it up as I try and remove it. Yeah, I'd say like a decent eight. I wouldn't say a strong eight. I'd say a decent eight, like medium eight. I think I see some whiting here. I don't know, the more I look at it, maybe not so much a great card, but it is a first edition. I still think it's worth getting graded. Ooh, I could see it coming back to seven, though. And the only reason why I say that is because they say, you know, when you're saying cards get graded in, whatever you're guessing, expect less. And, I mean, I'm... So I'm guessing that I would say probably lower than most people, I would hope, to try and just beat the uh, the issues. Now, this one, it's not first edition. It has its rarity symbol. It's Japanese Kabutops. However, if I remember correctly, this one should be a 10. I put it in a pile a long time ago to send out. Um, and... I mean, I'm not seeing anything wrong with the corners. The hollow on this, practically flawless. Bottom left corner, great. Bottom right corner, great. Nothing wrong with the front of the card. Let's hope the back doesn't disappoint. Back looks clean, back looks clean. The centering's great. Typical on Japanese cards, they tend to have better centering. Uh, maybe some just light scratches in the wax but still nothing wrong with it I, I see it being a 10 but still it's not a strong 10 I, and only because I can see it on the back and it's probably hard for y'all to see with the camera I'll try and make it apparent on the light you can see when I bring the light closer to the side you see some blemishes sort of pop up next to the red line but still Definitely a 9, possibly a 10. I mean, I'm hoping 10, of course. I'd like 10 for all of my cards, but who wouldn't? So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, we're building traction on the giveaways. Um, I, this is still an official giveaway here, by the way. It's just the person 
wasn't in the continental United States to win, sadly, or if they didn't give me an address to send it to within the continental United States. So you can still win even if you're not in the continental United States for this. But you have to have me ship it to somewhere in the continental United States. So we still have our small giveaway going on. And then also we have our thousand sub giveaway. And then we also have our giveaways in between. So just um, stay tuned, uh, stay active, and stay safe. Thanks. Bye.